A lot of injury concerns for Ohio State out of this 41-7 victory over Purdue leading into a huge game against Penn State. That's what makes the injury news even more important than it would be just in any given week. I asked Ryan Day after the game for updates. He had no updates. So they came here with Trevian Henderson. He warmed up again just as he did against Maryland, did not play. After the Maryland game, they had said that was precautionary. He could have played, but he had no update on him today. I don't know if that means there was a setback. I don't know if that means he just didn't want to answer any injury issue questions today, which may have been the case. Chip Trainum took a shot to the head, left the game. I don't know what his evaluation status is. Um, that may be why Day couldn't answer that question. Denzel Berg got hurt late in this game. We did not ever see him back on the sidelines. So there may be a further evaluation that's going on to the extent of, of his injury. Uh, who am I forget? Oh, Emeka Buka did not make the trip. We They may be waiting to see how he responds to another week of treatment to find out whether he's going to play against Penn State. I think that's it. And then Mike Williams didn't make the trip, but he's the number three back. And down Hayden ran well. That one I think is the least concerning of, of the ones that they're dealing with. And those are the ones we know about. Who knows what else comes out of a game like this, like any game. So, Stephen, can Ohio State beat Penn State without getting healthy this week? It depends on the person. I feel like it's deja vu. I feel like it's 2022 all over again. If it's Denzel Burke, no. No, they can't. He's, I, I agree with you. At worst, he's their second best defensive player through six games, depending on how you view what JT Tui Maloa was starting to turn into here. At worst, he's been their second best defensive player. I think you need Travion Henderson. I think you need him. And it's not because of the dink and dunk runs. It's because of what we saw against Notre Dame. It's because of what we saw against Penn State last year, where at some point, if the hole is there, he's running for a touchdown. You need your home run hitters when you're playing teams who can hit home runs. Those two guys, they need them. They need a Mecca Buka to be able to play. Flag on the play, apparently. See? God like <laughs> God, I guess not. Sorry. But I, I think. Crossade Stadium itself is taking offense to, <laughs> to this line of discussion. Yeah. I, I, they, a Mecca, Travion, and Denzel Burke have to be able to play next week. 80% of whatever they can be health-wise is better than 0% with those guys. The other guys on the list, Mayan Williams, you're right. He's been running back number three. I saw Chip train him coming out of the locker room after the game. It's probably a head injury. They took his helmet from him. He was walking up and down the sun. It's clearly a head injury. It's So it's, is he in protocol or not? That's the question now going forward with him. But those other three guys... They are valuable to their chances to win a national championship this year. So you're asking, can they can they compete with another team who's competing for a national title without three players who are vital to that? No. So those guys have to get healthy this week and be whatever percentage they can be that can help this team next Saturday. I think Emeka Buka is the crucial one that they have to have back for Penn State. Um, this is maybe the best defense in the country that they're about to face. I know Ohio State's in that conversation, too. Michigan's in that conversation, too. There's some other teams that are in that conversation, too. But, but Penn State's doing it week in, week out defensively. And they've got some good cornerbacks. And they've got some other good players. But especially in the secondary, they, they keep turning out real guys. And I think we don't know how limited they can make Marvin Harrison Jr. if he is the one – true like alpha that's back there for Ohio State you having that secondary option and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to talk bad things about Xavier Johnson or whoever else they use more in the passing game if Abuka can't play but there's there's a reason Abuka starts there's a reason he had a thousand yards last year there's a reason he's projected as like a first round NFL draft pick I think that's the guy they need to find a way to get back I think that's why he didn't make this trip like there was if now that could be the severity of it means that he shouldn't have been traveling we don't know that yet but I think it's more like there was no chance he was going to play this week why even risk anything happening keep him in Columbus let him watch the game with the team and try to get him as healthy as possible so we can actually be on the field in some capacity against Penn State because I think there's any percentage of him up down to I don't know what 75 70 percent is 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 still going to be a very quality addition to this offense Andrew like how concerned should Ohio State people be about these injuries affecting the chances that they beat Penn State? Yeah, very concerned. Um, I, I agree with you that Emeka is the most important person to get back because I understand we just watched Ohio State run the ball pretty effectively and fairly well all afternoon. I mean, their running backs ran the ball well, and they were down to their fourth-string guy, but it's Purdue. <laughs> like, Purdue's not very good at defending the run, and Ohio State ran the ball well, and you have to give them credit for that, but you also have to understand that there is a far superior opponent 
coming down the line next week with Penn State. And if you're not able to run the ball, like if this if the run problems persist into next week, they have always kind of been able to rely on their passing attack and they have always been able to rely on their passing game. And if a mecca is not there, that's a problem. So, yeah, I mean, you need Denzel back. I don't think, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, they need all three running backs. I think you, you probably just need one of them to get healthy, whether it's Travion or Chip or Mayan. You just need one of them to get healthy because then, I mean, you have Dallin Hayden, RB1 right now. And then after that, you've got guy you got some redshirt guys that you were thinking about you, you've got some some tough decisions that you would have to do there and you're just down on depth so you just need one running back I think it, I, frankly I understand that you would rather have Trevion because he's RB1 but you just need one of them to get healthy because that helps you out depth purposes that helps you out kind of rotate and you can get more of a rhythm that way but a mecca if you don't have a mecca there's there's a big problem there because you could have the running game back and if all the if like let's say all three running backs come back and a mecca doesn't if you can't run the ball well you're still down a mecca and, and they haven't been running the ball well with all of their running backs healthy against really good teams so yeah it, it, not having a mecca would be a problem not having a De not having denzel burke would be a problem too but i think you can mitigate that if you get a good pass rush and things like that but yeah not having a mecca that that would be a major problem and i would be very concerned if i was an ohio state fan the other thing about getting a Mecca Buka back is it bolsters your backfield depth because now Xavier Johnson can help out in the backfield more. He was running a, a little bit today, and he's done it plenty of times before. That can be part of the solution. But definitely things we're going to be monitoring this week. So listen to Buckeye Talk, wherever you can find that. But get the text, 614-350-3315. Whenever we find out anything about those injured Buckeyes, that's where we'll be sending it first from cleveland.com.